Okay? So you start with the patella. You can palpate around the patella. We're going to have a slide a little bit later. There's the plica. Did you talk about the plica in the anatomy class? So there is uh, an embryonic remnant of the capsule. In development, our knee actually starts as three different sacs and then becomes one. And we have this, what I affectionately call the appendix of the knee, which is the plica. And the plica is going to be um, superior medial to the patella. And it is, you're really only going to feel it if it's inflamed. And so people will have plica syndrome. And that's an irritation of the patella on this, um, this, rep, this capsule remnant. Okay? So you're going to palpate the plica and you're going to go across, like so. Okay? So we have patella, you have plica. You can follow the patella down. There's the infrapatellar tendon. On Fallon, her infrapatellar tendon is really at an angle. Typically, it's very superior, inferior. Um, be interesting to watch you run. Okay. <laughs> I would guess you don't like it so much. Sorry, um, can you go back? What would you say the patella is again? Not the patella, not the plica. <laughs> not the patella, yeah, plica. <laughs> <laughs> so the plica, the plica yeah. is going to be, if, if here's the patella, it's going to be um, superior and medial to the patella. What does it's it going feel to be like right under. there? You're not going to feel it in most people. If it's just like a bursa, if it's inflamed, you'll feel it, and it's going to feel... Um, I don't have a good food analogy. <laughs> Almost like folded over a folded over towel, okay, like a wrinkled towel is what it's going to feel like under there. So it's going to have some thickness to it, but it's going to be ridgy. And I think I've got a picture a little bit later in the slides that show the plica. Are you going to find? Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to. Okay. So I can okay. have it. You kind of tripped me up with the whole tell, yeah, like where the tell is. If I need to tell, I have to see you after class. Yeah, right. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> so here we have the infrapatellar tendon, and then the tibial tuberosity is going to be the attachment of the infrapatellar tendon. Okay. Now, from there, uh, you're going to find the medial and lateral joint line. So typically, I will come in with the finger pads of digits 2, 3, and 4, and I'm going to rub up and down until I feel that joint line. Okay? And it's going to line up roughly at the end of the patella, although failing, I would not use any typical line. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay? So I can feel along the joint line there. Now, uh, along the joint line, if we go up, we're going to be on the medial and lateral epicondyles. And medially, if I follow the medial epicondyle up, we're going to end up on the adductor tubercle. Okay. So that, that adductor muscle group is going to attach there. Now what also is going to cross the medial and lateral joint line are the medial collateral ligament and the lateral collateral ligament. The medial collateral ligament is really much more like a sheet. And so it's going to be difficult to isolate the MCL on the medial joint line. However, the LCL is much more like a rope or a straw-like structure. So for all of you, if you cross your legs like a figure four and feel through lateral knee, you're going to feel this cord pop out. Okay. So it's really uh, like a small, almost like a drink straw, like a cocktail drink straw, so smaller than a McDonald's straw, um, and it's, it's going to cross the joint line. Okay. All right, so so far we've palpated patella, plica, <laughs> the, the infrapatellar tendon, the tibial tuberosity, the joint lines, medial and laterally, you go north, superior, otherwise known as. Uh, for the condyles, epicondyles bilaterally, 
On the medial side, if you keep coming up, you're going to hit the adductor tubercle. Just like on the humerus, you can also follow the supracondylar ridge up. It's going to be harder because of the hamstrings bilaterally, but you can follow the supracondylar ridge up as well. Then we talked about um, MCL and LCL. The um, joint line, is that just like the top of the tibia where the meniscus and everything starts stacking? Up? Right. Okay. Um, we've got a couple more tibial structures, or do you want me to stop there? Let's practice. Okay. All right. Go ahead. <laughs>